So what's the catch? You've got these medications that can help with diabetes, help you lose as much as 15% of your body weight, and now there's potentially cardiovascular benefits for some populations of people. Why wouldn't everyone that wants to lose weight take these medications? Well, every medication comes at a cost. A literal financial cost, which we'll find out in just a second, is a steep one, as well as a side effect cost. The most common side effects of these medications are GI-related side effects, the most common of those being nausea. But other common GI side effects include vomiting, diarrhea or constipation, bloating, and abdominal pain. And many of these can be attributed to the slowing of gastric emptying. Now, when people first get on one of these medications, they're actually supposed to start at a lower dose and then gradually increase until they get to their maintenance dose. And many people will often notice that these side effects can lessen over time, while others may not be as lucky. But people have also experienced fatigue, headaches, and some of the more serious side effects. Now, I should say that these more serious side effects are relatively uncommon, but still worth mentioning. Pancreatitis is a potential side effect. The mechanism of how this occurs is not totally well understood, but it is thought that due to GLP-1 receptor agonists stimulating the pancreas, it could potentially cause an overgrowth of some of the pancreatic cells, which could then block the ducts of the pancreas, leading to a backup of pancreatic juices resulting in inflammation. 